takes four love and will serve for five love in the decider now. In the blink of an eye, Mr. Finko is still complaining. No, I have to, uh, I cannot continue, I need now. I've pulled my abdominal. I cannot play. I need to train yeah, it continue. now. I need to play. Look, I played a match two weeks ago. I wasn't allowed to go off court because I was serving. No, 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 no. What's the rule? The rule is she can call it whenever she wants. But you know, you know she's lying. Right, we all know. Like, goodness me. No, can you call the supervisor as well? Stern words from Tom Janovic. You know she's lying, right? Is what she said. Yeah, you well, cannot tell her what to do. You cannot tell her what to do. You know, you know, you can also make your own call and your own view on the situation. She can say whatever she wants, but you can still. But are you taking in any, any consideration that she looked fine for an hour and 30 and now there's an acute injury? I'm not sitting down. So the physio's here. The trainer's on court. We need to do off court treatment. Yes, we need to do off court. Okay. Um, yeah, I go up to the left and I'm like, look, I'm having a injury. She can say, okay, we go, we go over. Okay. She, if she feels that there's something serious, she has to call. Yeah. So it's her call. Yeah. No, it's a physical call. You can go, you can go. It's a physical call. Okay, let's go. Yes. So, court yes. medical timeout taking place now for. Yelena Ostapenko. It's over. Tom Lianovic gets the win. And you have to say, Richly deserved. Thank you. Thank you. And no love lost between these two. Ostapenko is there waiting to shake hands, but Tom Janovic, I don't think, is interested. Your behavior yeah. is terrible, terrible. You have zero respect, yes? What? Oh, goodness me, your behavior is terrible, said Ostapenko. You have zero respect. And Tobianovic made it clear that she was happy to talk to Ostapenko about what went on later. She can say she was injured. I don't think she was. There was nothing wrong with her the whole match, but then why on 4 0 she calls it? So I think that that's a clear reason that she just wanted to get me off my game. Usually, if you are dealing with an injury, the, uh, at least this is how I go about it, you maybe say, hey, can you call the physio on the next changeover? You don't just go and sit down when your opponent's about to serve to go up five love, potentially. So that's one. And... Game-wise, there was nothing wrong with her from my side. I played her. I played many people. I know when someone's injured when, and when they're not. And then to top it all off, for her to call me disrespectful at the end of the match is just, at that point, it's laughable. Um, and I think is disgraceful behavior from someone that is, you know, is a slam champion. Because kids look at her and, and what they see that. I'm sorry that uh, if she was injured, she could have gone about about it in a way better way. 
she could have waited one more game and got the physio out. And if she did that at 4-1 or 5-0, I would probably have a smirk, wouldn't say much to the ref. I would just ask, what's her injury? But the fact that she did it at 4-0 when I was about to serve, that's to me, like, that's just disrespectful. It's not what you do, especially at Wimbledon, I mean. First of all, she cannot say anything because she knows zero about my uh, injury. She doesn't know anything. First of all, and second of all, in my opinion, it was very, very disrespectful from her side because every single player who is playing tennis or any other sports uh, can get injured. So she cannot say anything unless she knows anything from the physios or from the doctor. I had a problem with my abdominal already in the second set. I pulled it and I, f I didn't really feel, uh, I couldn't really serve well because I had pain uh, when I was serving, when I was doing one motion. So she could, she cannot say anything unless she knows anything and she's not me, so she cannot feel the pain. I'm the one who feels the pain. And I really felt I needed the, the physio and the, the, I don't know, the tape or something, any help uh, right at that moment because I was already dealing with the pain for a long time, but I, I, I should have called the physio earlier, I think. And of course, maybe I was playing a lot uh, since he was born. Of course, I had some really good wins. And I think my level today was like not not good after the first set because if I played at least 50%, I would have beaten her. Oh, she chair, said that I cannot have a physio. And I said, I can have a physio if I have an acute injury. I need the physio right now. And I saw that many players did it and not like on the changeover. If you really need the physio, you can call it. So that's what I was telling her. Then I, that I have, uh, that I can have a physio now. That's the only thing I was telling her. Just to clarify one thing you said on court, Aliana, do you, you called her the worst player on tour. Do you mean in terms of her, her tennis or in terms of her No, in, the, in terms of being what? very, very, very disrespectful to me. I think it was very disrespectful what she did. I mean, how can you say liar or something if you know zero about maybe I already had this injury before, maybe it's not new pain or something. How can you say this? You cannot say that in front of everybody, call me liar. It's not, I don't think it's uh, respectful from her side.